Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Commissioner, Vice President, for coming to this House. But above all, thank you for proposing uh, these new legislative proposals and communications. I have to say you are doing well. Keep it up. And please keep pushing all the institutions, including Council, to deliver on the digital single market. The adoption of several proposals this week is a good sign that the Commission is serious in their efforts to make Europe a leading part of the digital revolution. But, Mr. Vice President, I have to say that not all proposals have been winners with everyone. Most, but not all. While my group fully supports the digital contracts proposals, I encourage you to complete the refit exercise as soon as possible so we can unblock both of these files. On portability, a wonderful and straightforward proposal, we are seeing attempts to introduce extreme verification systems that would track users in order just to give them the right to watch a movie. The ALDE group will fight for a balanced text, but we will need your support. As to your proposals today, we welcome the proposal on unjustified job blocking and fully endorse the fight against discrimination between different EU citizens. When combined with greater transparency in parcel deliveries, we get closer to a single market that is built on trust and respect between consumers and businesses, and this is vital for e-commerce. But, Vice President, we will need more convincing on the communication on platforms and any further actions arising from it. The definition of platform is so wide that almost the whole Internet fits inside it. This is a receipt for over-regulation, and this must be prevented. Thank you.